Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube icon and show you some other stuff that will make your channel and your videos look pretty great. Okay, so we're going to start by making a channel icon. Now, making a channel icon is really simple, but if you want to make a quality channel icon, then you're going to have to take a few steps before just uploading any random picture onto YouTube. Uh, so you probably don't want to upload any copyrighted images, and while no one is really going to sue you for having a picture of Nicolas Cage as your icon, it really just looks unprofessional. And when people think about subscribing to you, they really think what makes you different from the rest of the channels. And your icon is pretty much what makes you unique, or symbolizes you. So we're going to make our icon in GIMP. Uh, you can use Photoshop, but this program is free, so if you want to download the program, it's pretty simple. The link is in the description. Um, if you're having trouble with the program, then you can check out some of my previous videos for tips and stuff. Uh, but you don't really have to be an expert in this program to follow along with what I'm doing in this video, so you'll, if you have it, then you're pretty much fine. Okay, so open up GIMP, then go to File, New File. Uh, now go over to Image Size, and make the pixel size 1600 by 1600 pixels. Then click OK. Uh, now we're making the image quite large so that when it's uploaded to YouTube it looks higher in quality than if you were to upload it in the default quality which is 800 by 800 pixels. Um, it has to be a square, uh, it really won't work any other way. Okay, so now we're just going to look at what tools we have at our disposal to make our icon. Uh, so go to the main window, click Windows, then click Layers, and then click Toolbox. Uh, you should get two new windows. Okay, at this point you could basically do whatever you want. Um, if you have a tablet, then I suggest drawing your icon for the best results, as I did here. However, lots of people do not own drawing tablets, so I'm going to show you how to make a great icon just using your mouse. So, we're just going to use the circle select tool. Uh, make it so that it fills the entire image, then click select, shrink, and shrink it by about 100 pixels. Then click border, and make that about 50 pixels. Uh, then use a gradient tool, select by linear, and find a small black to gray gradient, or really whatever colors you want to use. After that, just drag from the center, and boom, you got a metal ring. Again, I'm just showing you what I did in case you want some ideas, but literally the possibilities are endless. And if you're really having a tough time with this, you can just take a picture of yourself and upload it to YouTube. But um, I'm just really making this so you know how to like make your own graphic for an icon. Now we're going to fill in the middle with some green with the fill tool. Then we're going to add a gradient to that, so select that with the select by color tool, and just wait a while until it's selected. Then select your gradient colors. After that, double click the gradient tool and set it to radial. Then drag from the center on out. After that, we're going to add some text, so just add a text box and type in whatever you want. I'm typing in GT because it's my initials for my channel, but you can pretty much do whatever. I mean, you can type in your channel name or just your initials, uh, as long as it fits inside of the little ring that we made. Uh, of course, unless you're not doing the ring. Anyway, so then we're going to select it and double click the text tool to open up the text editor. Then I'm going to select a font that makes my letters look pretty good, I guess. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm going to make my font about 800. Um, you want the font to be black because we'll color it later. Uh, then we're going to just right click the text layer and click select by alpha. Then go into layer and click crop to selection. Then click the alignment tool and click the text you created. Go back and double click the alignment tool and center your image. Once that's done, click Select None, then go back to Layers and right-click the text and select Expand to Image Size. Duplicate your image, make the layer on top invisible, then select the bottom layer and click Filters, Blur, Motion Blur, and select Zoom. Then you're going to use the Measuring tool to measure from the vanishing point to the left border of your image. Now if you don't know what the vanishing point is, it's basically uh, we're making 3D um, letters, so the vanishing point is where the 3D is centered on. So you just want to go from that and measure to the left border of your image. And input that into the X coordinate. 
then measure the top of your image to the vanishing point and that will be your Y coordinate. Uncheck the box that says blur outward, set the blur radius to 30 and click OK. Then use the select by color tool and select the blank par part of your layer. Then go to select and click invert. And after that, select your gradient colors, double click the gradient tool, make it linear and create the gradient. Then make the top layer visible. Right click it and click add to alpha selection. Then fill it with any color you want. After that, go to select shrink and shrink it by about eight pixels. And then you can fill in that with whatever color you want as well. Or you could just use a gradient. It doesn't really matter. Um, and after that, just for extra measure, you can go to select, shrink again, shrink by about 10 pixels, and make the border one pixel and fill it with any color you want. Then click select none and click on the background layer in the layers window. Then use the circle tool and select a rough circle around your green gradient or whatever color gradient you decided it to be. After that, double click the paintbrush tool, make sure the brush is hardness 100, size 5, and dynamic off, then select your color. Uh, now click in the selection with your paintbrush, then hold shift and click on another spot. This creates a straight line with your mouse. Repeat this multiple times for a lightning or branch effect. After you're done with that, you can click select none, then select by color for the white part of the image, uh, then right click the background layer and add an alpha channel to it. This is very important. Then go to edit and click clear. Once done, you can save it and export it to YouTube. Uh, it could be exported as a .jpg or .jpg, however the .png has the best quality. Now go to your channel page, go to your icon and click the pencil. Then it will take you to your Google Plus page. And from there you can upload the picture you created. Remember to upload the .png and not the .xef. The .xef is the GIMP file, not the saved picture. Once you've got your channel icon, there are a couple of little things you can do on your YouTube channel. Uh, for one, you can go into Video Manager, click Channel Settings, and then click in Video, click in Video Programming. Then from there, you can upload photos that will act as links in your video that take your viewers to your channel page or your latest video. You can upload any picture for your channel link, however, it has to be under one megabyte. The icon we made is slightly over that, so to make it under one megabyte, we can open up the .xcf file we saved, go to image, scale image, and make it 1000 by 1000 pixels. Then we'll export it again. Uh, this will make the file size significantly smaller. Now that it's smaller, we can upload it to YouTube. So as you can see, these links on your videos definitely make you look more professional and even increase your video traffic, uh, which means more views for you. And your icon is also a pretty big part of your channel, so I hope I helped you with that part. Uh, so with that, this is Galactic's Tutorials. I hope this video helped you, and I will see you guys next time. Beat time.